<laughs> yeah, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Team Building with Zeus, where I take a live guest and T-Build for a matchup. And then afterwards, I'll review the replay and talk about the team and the battle. So without further ado, we have a good friend, a long friend of mine, Mr. Nim, with me today. What's going on, man? Hello. Dang, you sound hella enthusiastic. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> 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 All right. So we have uh, this is this is a uh, just a regular um, Paldia Terra preview uh, matchup for Trickhouse up against Mr. Ghost. Um, pretty standard. I'm um, just nine to eleven mons. Um, Terra Captain's two pretty strong ones, or at least I think you have two pretty strong ones. He has one and a lower one, I guess. But yeah, interesting matchup. Um, I didn't really look at it too much, to be honest, but just from first glance, it's a couple of things stick out for sure. Um, have you looked at it at all or not yet? No, not much. I haven't, I haven't got a look at this. Okay. This is this is trick you Did you play your first two weeks yet? Yeah, I played already. How did you do in those two weeks? Uh, I chopped both. Ghost has only played... So I'm both right now. I think Ghost has played one. One? Okay. Ghost is on one, yeah. Okay. Ghost is on one, I'm on two. Alright, alright. We're oh, gonna good. get the one here. We're gonna get the one here for sure. So, okay. Um, so... I think there's a couple different win conditions. I think the obvious one in your, on your side, I think Mew... Like a dragon dance me looks really strong here um just because if you like look at his team right well first of all his team is kind of slow so that's really good for you you have a lot of pokemon that are pretty fast into his team um but i actually think his team is pretty weak to fighting like he only has two resistances which is a talon flame and a florgis and you know Mew gets pretty much every move in the game right so like it could just easily have a fighting move and then rock slide gunk shot and that pretty much just hits everything. So I think that's a really good win condition. A DD Mew with just three attacks because it doesn't have Bruce no more. Um, and I do think something just pretty basic like Terra Fighting could be good just to empower your close combats. And even like you can even do like Terra Fighting plus like uh, the Fighting Boost. Oh my god, what's it called? Um, black Belt. The item Black Belt. Um, we'll look at the rolls obviously and stuff, but I think that's a really solid win condition. And then. You have obviously a, a really strong fighter too right next to it. So I think just using both of those guys, and I think it gets coverage for both of the resists too. I think it's like Heavy Slam, Slitherwing, and then I don't know if it gets a rock move, but it might get like a Wild Charge, right? Or something like that, I think. So I think that's a pretty like solid strategy, just using these two guys to just punch through their opponent's team. I think is really strong here. Um, you do have pretty good defensive pivots, I think, into their team as well. And then you can, I don't know if you want to bring Diancy. Diancy looks pretty like good here because you can Stealth Rock and Spike stack him because they only have the Glamora to remove, which Treads is a really pretty good Pokemon into Glamora if you want to go that route. And then um, Diancy, er, Diancy, Talonflame can defog, but it can't defog in front of your Hazard Setter. So like they would have to find another opportunity, you know, to, to get that defog off. So I think... Um, I think that's a solid game plan. I don't know. Do you see any Pokemon that you, you think looks really strong at first glance for you that you want to bring, or not really? Mm, I think I think my top three looks quite good in the Your top three? Yeah. Like um, we already talked about the new battle, and the top three looks kind of nice. So I do think Pole can come, or like if. Pole realistically will probably come every single game, or it should at least. Um, just like, like the offensive like Pult set though, like may seem a bit hard because like if you want to go special, like there's a big Tinglu and a Florges, so special is not going to really be doing anything, I think. And if you want to go physical, they lost Steelwing, right? So again, it's tough with Florges, and there's a Bronzong too, so. Unless you want to run like you know Phantom Force or something, and there's another Steel type too, I suppose. So if you're physical, like you, you definitely need like probably Flamethrower as just coverage move, maybe if you go physical. So I don't know. I think I think Pole can come for sure, but so I don't know exactly what type of offensive pull you want to bring here. Um, I definitely think a Utility Pole looks really really good here, just because it's faster and everything. But 
Um, I think we should start out with like our like win conditions or like our best offensive Pokemon here. So we could do Mew. I think Mew's definitely going to come here. Do you like the DD set or do you like some other set? Do you like special Mew here instead or like a plotting Mew or something or what do you think? DD is good. I was thinking something like agility or something else. But DD is also nice. Yeah, I think just DD is a bit better just because you get to obviously boost your attack too because Mew, it only has base 100 attack, so it's not like the strongest if it's unboosted. And if you're agility, you'd probably, I mean, you could just be like agility three attacks, but I think just Dragon Dance is better in pretty much all scenarios. Um, the only things that could be faster is a Scarf, a Scarf Keldeo or a Scarf Talonflame. So, and Scarf Talonflame would be uh, crazy in this matchup here. So uh, maybe the Scarf Keldeo, but that's really it. So, and... Another thing too, since their team is kind of slow, we can make the Mew pretty bulky to where like, yeah, after a plus one Dragon Dance, we'll probably outspeed the Talon still, but we're not going to need a ton of speed for that. So we can be so bulky probably to the point where even like a Scarf Keldeo can't like, you know, revenge us unless we're like at least half or something, you know? So um, let's, let's just throw Mew then for now. Is our probably going to be our main win condition? There's probably a good chance we'll have two win conditions, but we'll see. So... Yeah, I do. I mean, I like the Terra Fighting, just CC, Gunk, Rock Slide. Do you see another type that you prefer over that, though? Or are you code that? Because, yeah, he just doesn't have many fighting resists on this team. I don't know. Uh, this is fine, I think. This okay. is fine. Okay, okay. Look, CC, Gunk for Floor Dress, unless there's a better move that's, like, not inaccurate. But I don't think so. There's no, like, steal. Oh, well, how much would Heavy Slam do? Let's see. I just want to see the BP. Heavy Slam. 40. Okay, hell no. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to run Gonk. Hopefully, I mean, they might not even bring Floor Dress. They, they probably will, though, because it is pretty good into Pult. So. But that's going to be the only... Well, I say only an accurate move. I suppose Rock Slide, too. I don't know if... a. Uh, like a 100% rock move would always kill Talonflame at plus one. What would it be? It would be like rock. There's not even a Smackdown. Let's see if Smackdown kills. Smackdown versus Talonflame. Mm. That is pretty defensive, Talonflame. Do you want to run Smackdown or do you want to run Rock Slide to guarantee kill it? I don't know if it would be defensive Talonflame here. Uh, it could be, actually. It could, but don't both of them get Rock Kabu, so it's a bit... They do, but... I don't think he would be max Fizz that though. No, they would definitely, like, they would definitely, they would definitely have speed. some luck, but they won't have... Yeah, they would need speed. They, they won't have that much. Yeah. So, it's up to you if you want to go Smackdown to not miss or Rock Slide. Rock slide honestly fine. I don't think I'm not missing rock slide. There's no way. Okay, there we go. That's the spirit. There's no way. Um, let's do Terra fighting, and let's look at the calcs just for adamant for now. Um, we do want speed to outspeed Talon flame, which I think is there. And let's just look at this to see if we want the um if we want the black belt. Black belt does seem probably like the best item if we need it though. We'll see. What the hell? Mew? Did I not just... What is the Slithering set? What? Wait. Huh? Did I not just... Oh, what? what? I need to watch that back. I don't know what the hell happened there. Mew. Get Slithering I'm over I mean, we're, that's a sign. That's a sign. We're using Slithering here. <laughs> it's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Uh, let's see. Plus one. Terra fighting. Okay. So let's look versus their team. We got a Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt is probably going to need a little bit of chip or hazards. Okay. Yeah. So let's give it a Black Belt now. So Raging Bolt is the one Pokemon. Again, we're going to 
well, I don't know if we're going to for sure have it, but I do think Diancie with rocks and spikes would be clutch here. So, Bull is one of the few Pokemon that will need Chip. That makes sense. Tinglu, even though we're like literally super effective. Yeah, if it's Fizz Def, we need a little bit of Chip on that guy too. So, that's fine. Glamora should die. It, it realistically, will die, yeah. Talonflame will die. Keldeo should die. Should die. Or just should die to Gunk Shot. Bronzong is probably the other Pokemon that probably needs some chip. Yeah. And they can't get affected by Spike. So, I mean, the only Pokemon that need chip with this set right here, if it's Black Belt, is Bolt and Zong. Everything else dies. I'm assuming you hit your moves. So, which you only have to hit two, two moves versus their guys. So, I think this is a pretty good win condition for sure. Um, and again, because we have so much bulk too, like, you can probably set up safe. I don't want to say like safely, but like without dying versus a lot of things. So, um, I don't know. Is there a terror type that could kind of be annoying for this? Uh, ghost. Cause then we don't have a rock slide. Would there be ghost here? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think ghosts should come. No. On a Dragon Ball and she yeah, unless, come. Yeah, unless they want to like try to spin block with the spike stack. Because we do have only spinner, we don't have a defogger. But, I feel like water is just a better to bring for them. Like something like water. Water. Or, yeah, I do think water. Ground, I guess. Yeah, I think water is the best, you know. Because they need something for treads, otherwise they don't really do anything to it. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, this is a good set. This is a really good set. I think this is a very easy way to win the game here um is there any damage difference between black belt like is it significant i think it i think it is because we looked at so if we remove black belt for this one for example like it's about you know it's 1.2 so you're 12 percent on this bronzong this is kind of like mixed but it's also the raging bolt the, the thing is like you have to look at okay, what other item is like in competition with Black Belt? It's one, it's either an even stronger item like Life Orb, but you're hitting yourself, or like a Lum or a Citrus or mm -hmm. something. I don't think Lum. Mm -hmm. The only reason I think Lum could make sense here is if you CC and they go Talon Flame and they get the Flame Body Burn. That's like the only, yeah. the only thing. So it, you could run Lum if you're scared of that. Um, you could run. The higher accuracy item, or is it Wide Lens or something? Because then I don't think Rotsai can actually miss. Um, but then it's just your CC is a bit weaker. So I don't think Citrus Berry is going to help you at all here. I don't think that makes sense. I think it's between either Lum, Wide Lens, or Black Belt. Makes sense to me here. I don't think like a, a Resist Berry when you're Terra Fighting is going to help you really much here. Do they even have a Psyche? Oh, it's Bronze on. Yeah, no. Bronza and floor just you just kill anyway. So the resist berries don't make sense here. So yeah, I think it's one of those three items. Uh, it's up to you though if you want one specifically. I think I would go black belt personally. Yeah, we can keep it. Yeah, I was thinking something like boots or something in case of like T spikes or whatever. Yeah, well but we do we do have a spinner we can and they have them. yeah they have no ghosts. So oh well before Terra. So I do think you should be pretty good at keeping hazards off here. So let's go ahead and throw treads on here because that is going to be needed for sure um treads could be interesting here. i think i think assault vests at first glance it just makes the most sense you can use it for glamour slash bolt um and you can also like av helps you throw it in versus glamour because if they try to like mortal spin your hazards away um and they just predict and go for an earth power you're still probably not going to take too much so and then you threaten it out the following turn so i like av here um you could do a berry if you want or you could do like citrus yeah citrus berry or something if you want but i think av is ideal here unless you prefer something else nah the av is fine av makes the most sense yeah for sure and then yeah this is going to be taking special hits so i think we're just going to be running um oh my god i'm trolling jolly you want to be faster than the Arcanine and what else is Nate? Uh, yeah, Arcanine. So that's good. Um, I think you just go max HP and then spit death. For, or you'd probably go like this, actually. I'd let you live the hits better. Moves, I think, are pretty 
pretty self-explanatory. Rapid spin, earthquake. Um, rapid spin, earthquake. Could run knockoff if you want. Knockoff to get rid of. They'd probably go Ting Lu on you, if I had to guess. So Ting Lu, or maybe they go Bronzong on you if they have it. So I think knockoff is fine. And then probably just like Volt Switch last, right? Especially if you rapid spin, you're gonna be faster and everything. You can just Volt Switch after. Unless you want like a certain like coverage move or something. Like you could pack like Heavy Slam, for example, but Floor just should never stay in. And Earthquake is still like not bad damage versus it. You definitely need Rapid Spin Earthquake for sure. I, I say Nox, Knock Volt Switch. Um, you could run a rock move if you want to hit Town Flame, but I think if you're gonna attack it, you would just Volt Switch into something else anyway. Mm. Yeah, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Mega Horn? Think no. Is there any different? I think knockoff is nice. Maybe last move. I don't know. I was thinking something like Voltage or Heavy Use that would be good, but I don't think. I don't think there's a big difference. Yeah, I think Volt Switch is probably just a little bit better. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Volt Switch is good. Pretty simple set there, but it's good. Assault Vest. So, what else? Um, I like Diancy. Diancy here, I do. I think a Fizz Def Diancy makes a lot of sense. It's gonna, cause Arcanine is actually one of those things that just can just kind of blow you back if you don't really have anything for it. Um, it's good for Talonflame if it comes for sure, and it's good for setting spikes. Um, I think Slow King looks pretty good here too, like a Fizz Def Slow King with just the standard Stab Calm Mind. Slack Off looks really strong here at first glance. Uh, Pult. Does Calm Mind Slow King beat Calm Mind Pult? I mean, I guess we do have shreds for it. Wait, but... beat Calm Mind Bolt? Mm, mm -hmm. Probably not, no. Because it's, it's really strong. But we have treads for that. So, And then we have things that are faster. So, But Fizz Def with Calm Mind Soul King, like, it, it's a pretty... I think that even might be like a solid second win condition versus this team, right? Like, what does a lot of damage to that? It's just Bolt, really. If you're Fizz Def with Calm Mind. Bolt and then like maybe like a Bandit yeah. Arcanine can do a shitload to you. Mm -hmm. So pretty much just the two Terra Captains. I mean, there's a Thwacky, I suppose, but... Okay, if Thwacky comes, whatever. <laughs> so, I do like there's that. There's no way Thwacky comes. I don't think it, I don't think it does, no. There's, there's no way. I don't think so. This is a Pokemon, though, that I would probably put Boots on just because it getting poisoned would kind of defeat the whole purpose. Like, it would be pretty bad. So, and Regenerator Boots is just epic, so... Do you need any other coverage or is Calm Mind Slack good? Scald, Size Shock. I mean, Scald, Size Shock gets everything. I mean, the, the only concern is the Base Shock, but does, is it really coming? Is the Base Shock really coming? I mean, it could, because you do have like these two guys if they want to like... I mean, they both get coverage to hit it though, so... Uh, I don't think it does. Realistically, but it can. I mean, you still have Scald. It's not like you're not running anything for it. It's all burning, so. I think realistically, this is like this. I think this is a pretty good second win condition, and you don't even have to use it to like, once you send it in, oh, Calm Mind and try to just like win or do a lot of damage. Like, you can just use it to throw it into something like Arcanine or throw it into something like Keldeo, and you can just kind of scout too with it to see like if they're boosting or what. But. If you, mm -hmm. if you hide the Calm Mind and then you reveal it like later, like it can just catch him off guard and win the game, so. Or, you know what, maybe you don't use them until like later in the game and you just win with it, so. Um, obviously Mew is, seems like the better, like most like, likely Pokemon to win the game, but this is a pretty solid, um, I think it's a pretty solid win condition and just like a pivot into things too, so. Dang, that shiny looks ugly. Okay. Um, let's <laughs> see, so. 
Do you like Diancy here for uh, hazards or no? It's another thing too. Diancy looks nice. Yeah, but I think Arcanine still kind of sits on you though. Like Bandit, that's actually just really big. Wait, which do move? I have anything for you? Which move? Bandit that smash just kills everything. So versus Arcanine, if you don't, if it comes in and you don't know anything about it. I would initially pivot into Slow King because let's check. Slow King. It takes like 80 bro. You think so? Uh, that's not that's not cool. Yeah, let's say it's Adam and 2, screw it. Okay. So it does, correct. But yeah, the good thing is at least you don't lose a Pokemon right away, and then you're gonna know it's banded. So one, that's another reason too why I think Diancy would be epic because rocks with spikes would murder this thing. But if you do, you know, switch in and it takes that much, you know, you can just make the pivot into something like treads after if you want. Um, it's probably still do like 30 or something. Uh, no, not even actually. It would do like, what do you have, 128 HP? Yeah, it would do like a quarter. So you could do something like that. That's what I'm saying, like just throwing it into scout. Um, but honestly, no boots is solid for you and you're going to have things that are faster. So I think that's okay. Honestly, the, it's the whole if it's if it's the Terra target, could be definitely a bit more tricky. Oh, what about Terra Rock? We didn't even check that. Terra mm -hmm. Rock would probably kill you, huh? Terra Rock is like a it's like ninety to one hundred and ten. Really? Versus Yeah, it's like a. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it's Adamant. That's why. Yeah. It's still likely to kill you. If she's well, stuff, if... I assume it does this. If it's Scarfy, yeah, but it'll two shy you, so it's just tricky then. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, that stuff. I mean, I guess if he Terra's that though, that's good for your. That's another reason why I think Diancy. Diancy's probably going to be your initial. Uh, it depends. It really depends what they have, honestly. Like if they have both Bolt and Glamora, you probably want to use Diancy for Bolt first, and then Treads for Glamora. Because you just want to get the hazards ASAP, but if they don't have one of the Pokemon, then you just kind of have to decide what you want to use for each. Um, but I mean, a banded head smash from Terra Rock, like, is there a switching on your team? Like, it's just, it just, there's no, no. really switchings that exist. So, <laughs> it's just something you have to deal with. So, it is what it is. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think this is good. As long as it's not banded, this does take at least one hit. So, that's nice. Um, so, yeah, I do like. I do like, so I think the team, I, I think you go Diancy here, and then one of Slitherwing or Chiyu, and then Dragapult. And honestly, I know you, I know you said you like Chiyu. Um, I think Slitherwing does have a little bit of a better matchup, but we could do Chiyu too if you want Chiyu instead. I know benching Chiyu is probably kind of like, really kind of crazy, but let's do, um, let's do Diancy first. That's easier. Um, so we definitely want rocks. I do think we can actually go maybe double hazard here, like rocks and spikes, because you, mm -hmm. looking at it, I think you only need two moves to attack, which is, well, let's see, do you, do you know which two moves I'm thinking of? What does it get for Bronson? There's a move that I can get do some damage to it. Not a lot, but it's something. What, body press? Yeah, <laughs> I think Diamond Storm Body Press is the other two slots here because oh, okay. yeah there's all the things that resist rock obviously neutral or weak to body press so i think that's solid um and you you'd be fizz def here too so i well mostly fizz def probably spike so your body press would do a decent amount diamond body um we want just leftovers here And if you're Fizz Def... Is fine. I, I think Shuka is also fine. Shuka? I don't know. I think you... Does Akuna get Iron Head? Yeah. Ooh. But that's not fun. How much do you take from like Glamour? Let's see. We, we are Fizz Def, right? So yeah, let's, let's check Fizz Def, yeah. Oh, that's not fun. Earth power as a roll to two shot you. Sludge wave probably does a third ish. Yeah. 
So, I think it'd be leftovers. It'd be a three shot. Again, we're not really worried about Glamora, though. Like, we have two, like, pretty good answers to Glamora, I think. So, realistically, it's more so treads, but. Yeah. Because, we're, I mean, especially if we click a hazard, like, we want to block the, the mortal spin. So, um, mm -hmm. do you like leftovers here? Or do, you, do you want Chukka? Either one works. Yeah, that totally is fine. Okay. Are you sure? I don't want to just kind of just tell you what to use. I want you to have like. No, 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 no it's not. <laughs> okay, okay. Because we avoid the two eight kills and three kills from like the more and Falcon and nine. So I think that the is slightly better. Okay, and then three or four two. It's is also going to be in for a few times. That's that's true. Yeah, and three or four is a good leftovers number as well. So that's perfect. Um. So yeah, we definitely need some more offense. This is why I think Slitherwing is really strong here. Um, you'd probably run, you'd run CC. So again, CC hits everything but those two guys. Heavy Slam for Florges. I think it's probably at least a hundred base power versus Florges from Slitherwing. Let me see, Heavy Slam uh, versus Florges. That's one twenty. Yeah, so that's a lot. Um, and then. Wild Charge is a bit tricky because it's probably not going to just... Let's say we're Booster Attack too. Screw it. Wild Charge. It's probably not going to kill it in one shot. No, it's close. This is so defensive though too. So... Uh, what I would probably do here is I don't think you actually need like, you could throw this in versus a couple of things too. Like you can, this is probably if we run booster, we can, but I mean, you can literally just throw this in versus something like Ting Lu, right? Just to get some offensive pressure. Um, I would either do probably three attacks and then can it boost its speed anyway? I don't know. It's yeah, flame charge, yeah. Trailblaze, Trailblaze. Too. That's it. Which one would be better here? Mm, I don't see you ever clicking flame charge versus anything here. So probably Trailblaze. Well, yeah, I mean, Trailblaze probably might have like a better chance to just to finish off something than flame charge. So, I mean, that's a set. That's just three attacks, boosters, and then uh, Trailblaze. Um, unless you don't want to be booster, you could be something else. If you want, like, maybe... You could be, like, a resist berry. You could be, like, a citrus berry. Hmm. I guess we could look at some rolls with the booster and see if it actually matters. Let's say we're booster attack. And we have wild charge, CC, heavy slam. So let's check versus Raging Bolt. Again, Bolt is one of the few things that we need for Mew to be weakened. So, yeah, I mean, just this is why. So, spikes and rocks would be really, really clutch here for this stupid Bolt. Um, so, that's with the booster attack. That seems like pretty good because this is like it kills after the two hazards. I don't know if this is going to be their defensive investment either, though. I'm not sure. What speed would they go? If I were, if I was them, I would probably put the bolt speed to. Mm, they probably don't need much speed, actually. They'd probably just go like a creeping slitherwing, honestly, like no speed slitherwing. So they might be very bulky, this raging bolt, but that's okay. Um, even if you like, let's say you hit it big and it lives on one percent, then that's literally just. One of what the two Pokemon that you didn't kill, I think it was what Bolt and Song, right? After a plus one, mm -hmm. so that's yeah. that's where the whole like using both of them to kind of help each other is really clutch, I think, could work here. So let's check other things too. Let's check Tinglu. I would imagine Tinglu dies. What the hell? It's close. That's not even Fizz that that's Spideff. I know, I know. What would they be? They'd pro they probably gonna be Spideff here though. For special pulled mm. slash this guy. I'll probably, I'll probably like mix. Um, I, I guess, guess Star 5 could for a bit. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think they need Fizz Def at all. Like, like an, an offensive Treads is not going to do much to it either way, and offensive Slitherwing is going to still, you know, at least two shot it, even if it's max Fizz Def. So I think it makes sense for them to be Fizz Def if they bring it here. Um, but whatever, that's still, again, after a spike, or even after a rock and a spike, like, you're dead, so. That's fine. Glamora surely dies, right? Like, there's no way. Oh my god, it barely... Why, why is this, like, so weak? I don't understand. This is 135 Adamant Booster. This is weird. Whatever. Am I, like, is missing something? I'm not missing something, right? Oh, yeah. no, I don't think it's Booster. Yeah, it is. Look, it says Protosynthesis. Because I did attack oh. right here. See? Oh. Yeah, it is booster. That's crazy. What the hell? I mean, it still kills, but like, I would, I would think it would do more. Um, talent flame we checked already. So Keldeo probably. I mean, everything still dies after like a spike. Realistically, it should die. So, holy shit! <laughs> it's no defense though. Yeah, it still dies pretty much. Um, Zong. Sharp dies, Arcanine dies. So, yeah, I still think this I could work. Um, and you only get the booster one time, though. So, this is something too that I think a lot of people do is when they have a Pokemon like this where there's a booster, they feel like once they they're in with the booster, like it's a waste to switch out. But it's not. Um, like obviously, when you bring it in, you at least want to get off one hit before just like switching. But after you kill something or done something and they bring in something to revenge you, it might, sure, it might be in your best interest interest to, like, just sack it if you don't think it's not necessary, but, you know, you can still always save it and come back in. Sure, your attacks aren't going to be like, as strong, but it's still a strong Pokemon, you know, so. And Slytherin is actually, like, surprisingly pretty bulky, so it can take some hits, too. Um, especially, like, you can literally use this as just a switch into Tingle. Like, Tingle doesn't do anything to Slytherin at all, besides, like, Ruination, I guess, so. Um, if you want, what you could do is you could, instead of doing the whole Trailblaze thing, you could make the last slot U-turn. So then you can always just click U-turn versus Tinglu and get momentum that way or just do a lot of damage to it. Um, I'm not sure if you prefer that though. Or just uh, Trailblaze. Or even like, was Willis we good here? Uh, what would they switch in? Mm, probably talent flame, so that would be probably not good. There's really nothing for like talent flame switch, right? Like you'd have to wild charge in front of a tingly, which is risky. So I mean, you turn into like slow king would be solid though, just to get off a of scald if they bring in talent flame. So you you could do U turn. U turn or trailblaze, I think, is best here. If you do U turn, probably not gonna run the booster then. If you're going to plan on like you turning on a lot of things, you probably want to do like either boots or lumberry, even something like that. What do you think? What do you think? You can do a booster for now. Although, booster. I think you. No, I'm just thinking when I'll click you, but, like compared to other moves. Or, like when I'll click shoulders. Because from that end, right? The the their scarper is gonna be like Claudio or Arcanine, mm -hmm. and then the Trailblaze is gonna be really useless because they outspeed me anyways. Yes, if they speed creep, the max speed Slithering, yeah, I would. So, I mean, you're right, yeah. Um, but like I said though, Slithering has pretty good speed def, so if it is Scarf Lamora or Scarf Keldeo, they're not gonna. I don't think it's gonna kill you. So, let's check Keldeo. I mean that's max yeah. HP, but that's that's still only like you you'd have you definitely have you'd have probably a lot of bulk actually with the with this spread, but actually if you want to plus one be fast on tunnel flame you actually probably wouldn't so you'd probably have around like forty maybe so that's how much a scarf pump does to you in return, um, and they would have they would have to definitely okay, be booster, too late here. Like, yeah booster that makes sense good you want to go booster with trailblaze. Yeah. Okay. So CC, um, wild charge, heavy slam, and trailblaze. 
Sobeys. I wonder how much Sobeys actually does to Keldeo. Let's see. So we'd want to be faster than Talonflame, which is right here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Dang, that's a lot. It's yeah. over half of Trailblaze. So, yeah, Hydro Pump would do about this much. There's no shot there, Gomondas, here when they, you have a Chiyu, Treads, and Mew. So, that'd be troll as hell. So, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good. This is, I wouldn't say this is a win condition. Like, I don't think you're going to just sweep this team with the plus one speed, but this is certainly a good breaker. And, like I said, if you bring it in just to CC and kill something, you can always say, but you don't have to, because we're, we have, like, three pretty good pivots, I think, in their team, so. Um, you don't have to just waste this thing, though, but it just depends how the game is, man. So, yeah, last slot is uh, probably, I mean, it could be Chiyu if you want, because, like, right now, you don't have too much offense, like, it's just the fighting types. And I don't think Polt necessarily, I don't think Polt and Chiyu both, like, have, like, great offensive matchups here. If you were to run Polt, I actually was probably going to suggest like a screens one actually just because screens helps Mew and it helps just slow King too. Um, it would be like screens with like darts and one other move probably. Um, because like, even though these Pokemon are defensive, just letting them live longer is always a good thing. And just more opportunity to get up spikes and like having their Pokemon have to switch and take chip is always a good thing you don't have to just only run screens if you're running like hyper offense like that's not something i that's what i see people do all the time but i think it's okay to run screens, especially because again their way to remove screens are talent flame defog which one i don't talent flame is probably going to come here like just because it's, it's a decent matchup but i don't think it's going to run defog i think if they have removal it's more on this guy and then they're not going to be running break break on keldia all right that's just crazy so I think screens is possible, um, unless you see like another Polt set you like. That's always a thing too, if you see something that sticks out. But it's just, with the combination of Lou, Lou, um, Florges, and then Double Steel too, like Polt might be tough to kind of do a lot of damage to things, so. Uh, that's, uh, and they could tear a fairy. Screens is nice, because it also helps, it also helps the Diancy as well. Yeah, just to get out those hazards. Yep, 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 yep. So, okay, we could do... So, this is probably going to be your dedicated lead, too, if I had to guess, but we'll go over that soon. Uh, what's better? Clear body, infiltrator, curse... There's not much that's clicking sub this game. Yeah, it'd probably just be maybe like a sub... Clicking sub? Yeah, I was going to say probably maybe a sub not. calm mind bolt, or maybe like a sub calm mind Florges. I don't know. Sub calm mind Keldeo, maybe... But, but Psyshock just beats that anyway, mm. so I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, that, is there any use for Clear Body or Curse Body? Clear Body? I don't think so, right? No. No. Curse no. Body? <laughs> it's just it's just a Curse Body if you want or Infiltrator, I don't know. Do they have a screener that maybe you can hit through with Infiltrator? I mean, they have Song. Zong, yeah, Zong can come with screens. All right, is it just Zong? Oh, Floor just also gets screens. Yeah, think, it's just probably Zong. I think Floor just gets like one. Floor just probably does. I, I think it gets like light one. screen or something. Just one, yeah. <laughs> Let me check real quick. That's oh, so neat. Seasonal team again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, 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 Floor just. Let's double check. Why not? Uh, light screen. Yeah, no reflect. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah, we would just do double screen, reflect, light screen. I think dragon dart. Last lot. Um. So, my thing is, like, you're not gonna... Whatever those last lot is, like, you're probably gonna think maybe flamethrower to hit the seals or something, but I think... Willow Wisp actually might be a bit better just because like 
okay, like, first of all, the Willow's immunity, like, darts is your best hitting move for it anyway, right? Or oh, there's two Willow's immunities, actually. But darts is fine into both of them. The only thing that could kind of, like, completely wall you is, like, the Flash Fire Terra Fairy, something like that. I don't know. But, again, you would just ideally get your Reflect up, and then you can just easily go Slow King or something on that guy anyway, so it's not a big deal. But... Let's say that you have your Dragon Ball in and they pivot into their Tinglu, like as you set up a screen or a reflect, like you can easily just Willow us and he's probably going to either hazard you or something, like expecting you to switch. So getting burns on that guy or getting burns, even on like a Bronzong, like you're not really under any threat. Like you don't do any damage to him, but he doesn't do much back to you either, besides like maybe tricking you or something. So that's why I like Willow us just because you can certainly, and again, Tinglu and Bronzong are things that can survive like some of the hits from the guys that you need chipped. So. I think will is cool to cripple things. You could also run something like just U-turn if you want a screen and then U-turn if they bring in something. That works too. Um, it's just preference though. I think U-turn and will are both like good. I think either one could work here. U-turning when you kind of... Uh, I don't, I don't want to get locked into something. You don't want to get locked into something? And even something. if it's U-turn on Glimora, it's just another chance. So it's fine. That's true, yeah. And then honestly, if this is go more though, like if you have a screen, you can just start it. You don't even have to U turn necessarily the first time. So you definitely be light ball for sure. Um, I think this is just standard faster than Talon Flame, just like that. Nothing crazy. Um, we can actually see what we'd be taking more hits from. Probably. Probably, it'd probably take more, like a special hit probably maybe from these two guys. So maybe you want more spit death. <laughs> Unless you want to just go max HP. Like if we screen and they bring in something, what is something that we might want damage on and just hit it? Um... I mean, again, it's probably just, but even Keldeo and Glamora, like, I guess Treads isn't like an infinite switch into Glamora because it can like predict Earth power and do it more than once. They would need to hit us probably like three to four times though. But Slowking realistically should be like an infinite switch to Keldeo, right? Like Keldeo cannot beat Slowking, even though we're Fizz Def 2 or not even Spit F. There's just no way Keldeo, even if it's like... Yeah. I know what you're gonna yeah. say. What are you gonna say? Maybe I see is like weakness policy or like SD something. Y yeah, right? SD Megahorn. <laughs> that's what. Doesn't uh, even get Megahorn. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's what's awesome. Doesn't get Megahorn. Oh, it lost it. Well, it, it gets X's. It gets X's, not Megahorn. It lost Megahorn. It used to. No, it, no I don't think it got X's. It, it, it only got X's. It never got Megahorn. Well, I had it in Gen Six. I know that. <laughs> I must have lost it in a different gen. Let's check that. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has it in gen 6. It didn't get it in gen 6. Wait. Bro, you're lying. It doesn't? No, it doesn't. You're Bro. confusing yourself. Bro, what attack am I thinking <laughs> of? I'm thinking of something, dude. Is it gen 7? Bro, I'm checking gen 7. You must be thinking of X's, though, bro. There's no way. Yeah, you're thinking of X though. What? I could I could have sworn in DPL someone used this to hit Slow King. Yeah, they used X though. Are you sure? I thought it was Zazo <laughs> too. What? Yes. I'm wait, checking wait, wait, Gen 8. Wait, you know what? Let's go find every Gen 8! Gen 8! Right I told you it has it. Gen 8, right here. It has it. it was no! In, yeah, it was in no. Gen 8. I knew it. Nah, that's Photoshop, bro. Nah, that's what the shot, that's what the shot. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, like, why, why did it lose Megahorn? <laughs> what the hell? That's whack. But why did it randomly gain Megahorn? Yeah, just to the GNA game. game. Yeah. It makes no sense. That's crazy. We'll just do the max and max HP. That's fine. Um, we did kind of build this team relatively quick, though. There wasn't really much. Let's see. Okay, so we said Terra Water Bolt, huh? That could be because that does hit our two switch ins while Electric does hit Slow King. So. Terra Water Bolt could be interesting, um, but regardless of what it is, one, like we could always have screens up to help us. And two, again, as long as we get up a spike or like, you know, a rock and maybe one spike, like it's still going to be in range of everything. So I don't think that's necessarily the biggest thing. Plus, if we go, you know, if we go this guy, 
take a hit. Like, we can definitely take one. And what's Volt Switch? It'll be weak. We can... It's going to be in range of, like, pretty much any of our stronger Pokemon. Like, even a Darts from... From Pult will probably do a good chunk if it's Terra Watered. Let's get the... Let's get this whole team. But that's definitely probably the biggest um, type for us. Or weakness, I suppose, is Terra Water. Or... Mm, not Terra Ground, no. Because then Slow King can do a shitload to it. It's probably Terra Water. Uh, let's see. Raging Bolt. I'm curious. How much are we doing? Okay, so Darce is a little bit under 40 if it's... Or it does a little bit under half if it's this bulk. What about Slitherwing? Slitherwing, Slitherwing is the thing that does a lot to us. Um, we're also, I believe with this spread, we're faster than... Oh, wait. We're not faster than... Oh, shit. No, we need this speed, actually, to be faster than Talonflame. Thank God I caught that. I think I... I think I... Um, I think I creeped Bolt, but I didn't creep the plus one to be faster than Talonflame. Whoops. I mean, it could be Galwings, I suppose, but, I mean, realistically, it's probably... <laughs> fine, buddy. Um, okay, so we would actually be just this spread, actually. Um, but, yeah, we should be faster unless they are jolly for some reason. Or timid, I mean. So... Yep, CC just always does a lot to it, too. Again, it just needs a little bit of chip and we force it out. So I think the bull is probably going to be able to probably get past one of your walls. Definitely if it's like a Calm Mind or something. But after that, I think like the team realistically should be too chipped. And then you should be able to kill it with your other Pokemon. And again, especially if you have your screens up. Screens are going to be so important um, here, I think. Not like not like you need them to win, but like they're gonna help you like a lot in this game, I think. So between like just the banded potential head smash this guy and bolt, like yeah, the, those screens would help out a chunk. Do you live? Actually, I'm gonna check that real quick behind a reflect. So you do take two behind a reflect. It looks like is Terra Rock no right. Terra Rock would be crazy though. Not tearing the Raging Bolt is a throw in my opinion. But... Okay, so Terra Rock. But again, you would know it's banded from the first and you could pivot away. So, yeah, I think this is fine. Um, what was I calking? I was calking something else. The Bolt. No. What was I calking? Oh, I was, yeah, I was checking I how much, I was checking how much we do to Bolt. Yeah, with uh, your three offensive oh, ones. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, we do like, oh, Mew and Slitherwing definitely do over half, and then Darts does just under half if they're Terra Water, so I still think we're okay. Raging Bull is probably the most scariest Pokemon, though, for sure, on their team. Or even if they're like a, maybe like a Rock Polish Glamora with Meteor Beam, like Treads just shuts that down anyway. It's not going to be doing anything to Treads, so. And even like Slowking could probably take one, unless it's like heavily boosted let's see do you tank a plus one energy ball from glamora mm, it looks like you do not well though you do and then skull why does skull do more oh because it has higher yeah this is fine I, I think this is a pretty solid team like there's nothing else that i can see on their team that really sticks out that could kind of just surprise us i really think if you get those hazards up and then the screens are up like mew wins this game like nine times out of ten um something that could be annoying though is if they do somehow get toxic spikes up and your remover is gone that could be troubling because everything would get hit by toxic spikes besides looking and i guess well your remover would be gone so yeah your other four so but I mean, Treads seems pretty, like, because you can always just Rabbit Spin and then Volt Switch on everything. Unless the Keldeo is Scarf. That's the only thing. Because you'll, you're you're creeping everything else, so. And you have good switches into Keldeo anyway. So, I think you should be able to pretty much spin these hazards, no problem. Um, and if they're Terra Ghost on Volt, you know, it is what it is. That means your Diancy is probably going to take it on a lot better. And again, you can always just Volt Switch to get some chip on it and chip it down, you know. Um... Terror Ghost does mean though that your Mew doesn't do a lot of damage to it. Same with, you know, same with Slitherwing. Like your hardest hitting move would probably be at Wild Charge, so you would have to rely pretty much on darts to do a lot of damage to it. 
So that can be a bit tricky. I don't think... Me? Levi's is anything that threatens... Pulp. Pulp. Um, right. Let's see. Well, you do have to take into account the terror type. Um, you're faster than... Well, if they lead Bolt, you're always going to be faster anyway. Well, technically, they could be Scarfed up to like, max speed. You're faster than if they're modest Scarf, but... I guess if they're timid, Scarf, they'll be faster than you. Um, I don't know if it's worth it, though, just getting a light screen, even if, even if you go first to take a huge chunk on Pult. That might be the only Pokemon that I think you have to switch. Um, and obviously, your switch, I think, would depend on the Terra type and the other Pokemon they bring. If the Terra type is not something that's... Mm hmm... Realistically, it should be something that's like super effective into this guy. If it's not, then I think you always go treads anyway first to scout. Well, actually, you can U-turn. Don't don't so switch to. I forgot you have U-turn. So definitely U-turn. Get some chip. Um, but yeah, that's the top. It, the thing is, though, if they're terror like water, for example, too, they're not gonna just outright go for a Terra Blast in front of the Dragapult, you know. So. I think you're safe to U-turn into Treads. That's probably the play versus Bolt Lead. Um, versus everything else, I think you simply just screen versus like the first screen you click is whatever, you know, obviously attacking the Pokemon is in front of you, right? And then you might, you you don't necessarily have to get up both screens immediately. You could get up one and then U-turn if you want to, just to try to get up your hazards ASAP. But it's up to you. I think versus everything else, so you can safely screen. Does Scarf Florges outspeed you? If it's some crazy Scarf Florges set, I don't even know. It doesn't outspeed you, no. It'll probably still do a lot to you, though. Let's see. Okay, yeah. You. Mmm, <laughs> versus Florges, you'd probably U turn as well, actually. <laughs> you would take like 80 to 90, but you can. You have really good Florges switch ins. Honestly, versus Florges, Florges can get tricked, though, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, tricky. Switching into something to get tricked might be tough. You can't go this thing because it can just Moonblast. Which of these three Pokemon do you not mm. care to get tricked? Mm. I, I think, think it depends, depends on what they do. It, uh, yeah, it does. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to gauge like realistically if we don't. The, know there's nothing. What six do they even bring both? For them, I like, would... We bring both, thing blue, then flame all three come. And then maybe Keldeo Bench? No, I think Kel I don't think Keldeo Bench. Doesn't... I think they need Keldeo because of speed too. <laughs> Their team is slow as balls. I think they yeah. bring top five and then last slot is Florges or Arcanine. Probably Arcanine. I think that's probably their team. Right? I think that makes sense. So. Versus that team, I mean, Slowking is always good for Keld. Treads. I mean, maybe you can lose, like, the... <sighs> no, but you don't, you don't want Treads to be locked, though. That would be so bad. If they, like, trick a locked item. I think that it would be your best option. Probably. Is so you don't want Slowking and Shreds to be tripped, but that's just bad. Yeah, yeah. Like we can go, we can go Diancy, so you can get a Spike Up or something. Or we can just hard switch into Treads because Floor just can't touch us. No. Well, if you, like, let's say you lead Pult and then they lead Floor just right, and you U-turn you into the Diancy to take the trick, I still think that that, like, turn two, like, you're okay to click a hazard there and be locked in because there's no Pokemon on their team that if you give them a free one turn, like they just win the game. Like everything is still healthy at that point. Like you still have like ways to deal with it. So I do think that opportunity, like you can still get up your rock early that game. I think like that turn, because it's only turn two, but obviously you're gonna have to switch after. So I think, but if they do like bring top six or maybe even just like, well, it would be, yeah, it'd be top six, top six if they have that floor just scenario. Um, I do think just Diancy and then rocking is, is probably fine. And then switching out after. And then after, maybe like later in the game when things are weakened, then you might have to be careful about 
trying to get greedy and maybe lock into a, a spike or something, you'd probably realistically just lock into an attack after at that point. Um, so that's probably what I would do. So you do turn versus Bolt and Floor just lead, probably. Um, maybe Arcanine. Maybe Arcanine too, if like a Scarfed Arcanine can one-shot your ass. Let's see. Also, you have to know the turn I mean, type too. I think it's better to click for a flag. Yes, yeah, if you live. Rather than... I do Oh. Ah, shit. It's close. Plus, again, this doesn't take into account his Terra type. If he does Terra. So... He can beat that. Give me one sec. Mm -hmm. You can definitely EP for that. Yes, you can. Um... Okay, let's do that. So we have 124. Mm. <laughs> oh, problem solved. Yeah, literally perfect. Is that worth though? So going down to one percent to get a reflect up. It does kind of can. It does confirm yes. at least their item too. We would know. Um, and if we're faster, you get the reflect up first. The only instance where it's really bad for us is choice scarf, Terra Rock. In that case, yeah, you have to look at the, the Terra type. Then the yeah, if it's if it's Terra Rock or Terra, well, I think Terra like Fairy Terra Blast is probably weaker. Is it? Let me see. Very, 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 very. Oh no, it's a little bit stronger. Sheep. So if it's a Terra type like Dragon or Fairy or Ice or whatever or Ghost or Dark, <laughs> anything that's super effective versus you or Rock, <laughs> you have to switch. Um, other than that, you can reflect. So, and then yeah, everything else you're good to just. Can anything even like parry you? Nothing like parries you, right? Besides like this guy, but you would switch. Bronzong doesn't get Thunderbolt, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so you're good, yeah. Okay. So you're switching on potentially Bolt and Bolt, Florgis, and Arcanine. But you can U-turn on these two guys just sort of Arcanine. You'd have to hard switch. I yeah, if they're like scar max speed scarf scarf bolt and they just one shot your ass, that'd be so bad. Hmm. Maybe Well, GG go next if that happens. Oh my god, that'd be so that would give you a free like click with Diancy the second turn, like just get up your rock. I still think you can honestly win if that happens. It's just incredibly tough. Especially like dude, Scarf Bolt makes this so bad here though. Like why would they be Scarf Bolt? There's no way it's Scarf Bolt. Honestly if you U turn and they're Scarf Bolt and they kill you, you know they're Scarf, that's why like, you're fine, I still think. Like, yeah screens are nice, but they're not needed here, so and at least you would know they're scarf, so I think this team is fine. I think you can definitely catch them off guard with the surprise sloking in the end if you hide the calm mind or, you know, just get up a couple hazards and then if you still have your screens, Mew should win, I think, pretty easily. The only thing that, like I said, is Toxic Spike could cripple the Mew or you letting it get tricked, but if you DD and then they switch into their thing that would trick, you you probably just kill it because realistically, it's, everything should have a little bit of chip before you just go for the Mew win, so... It just don't let their don't let one of their Pokemon one of their Pokemon excuse me get crazy set up before you can because that is how you would just lose. So, but I I think this seems good, man. I think you're honestly with this. I think you're even like a little bit favored honestly in this matchup. So I think you'll be okay. So anything else you see or you think you're good? I think this is good. I don't see much of it. No? Okay, are you going to do any mocks for this or no? No. Yeah, I probably will, but I don't think much will change. I need to get used to using the theme though. I shouldn't just go hard in for it. That's true. Is what I think. Okay. That's true. Well, good luck in your game, sir. We're going to cut to the battle and kind of see how you do, alright? Alright. Alrighty. Alright guys, we're here for the battle for Nim versus Ghost. Again, one last look at the pace. We have pretty good win condition to Mew slash even Slow King. So the ring's a solid breaker. And then our plan was just to get up the screens and hazards to kind of pressure Ghost's team. So let's see how Nim does. 
Uh, let's look at the Terra types real quick. Uh, Ghost has Terra Ground Bolt and Terra Normal um, Arcanine. So that's pretty good for our Mew because, yeah, I mean, the only the only fighting resist is Talonflame. We have Rock Slide. So CC should be pretty free here. So we got a pretty good lead. I think he just sets a screen here, which is pretty self explanatory. Yep. Good play by Nim. He has to go for both screens. Um, just fine. He goes for a U turn and he pivots right into Slitherwing. Mm, so the reason why I don't like necessarily agree with going Slitherwing here is yeah, it threatens out the Tingly right away. But one, you're switching it into an attack, which could very easily be a, ru a ruination, which it is, and we lose you know over 50% of our health already. Um, two, it can be whirlwind. You could just whirlwind, and then we reveal our booster, and we lose our booster right away. And three, which is probably the most important thing, is Slytherin is never going to be able to like punch a hole through the team as long as Talonflame's alive at full health. Um, because even if we're max attack adamant with wild charge, which we are, which is the hardest hitting move for Talonflame, um, we don't kill it. All it needs is a very little bit of bulk, and we don't kill it. So. He kind of goes very aggressive here, and I don't necessarily agree with this play. I think a better play is, I think, I think simply a better play is honestly just to go slow king, and you could just fire off a, um, fire off a scald or whatever you want. Burns is always good on everything, and you know, even if they go into like kill deal, you can just stay in after. So, and then you know, if they ruination like they did, like in River Generator, I'm slow king with boots, so we'll be fine there. So. I definitely think going into this guy is a little bit too um, too aggressive here. Um, maybe if we were a different item, then it would have been better, but we're booster, so. Um, but he goes into this, so now he can just click anything he wants pretty much because Tingle has to switch. The opponent does obviously make the prediction and go into Talonflame, but as you're going to see, yeah, here, Trailblaze into Wild Charge doesn't KO. So, I mean, we have the Talonflame low, which is good from you. But Slytherin was one of our better Pokemon that kind of just claimed kills. Um, so, a bit tough uh, losing that guy pretty early. We can go Dancy here though and get up a Hazard though, which is nice. Um, Talonflame does try to Roost, but I mean, we're fine here if we can get up a lot of Hazards. Or maybe he just kills... Yeah, he just kills a Talonflame. So, no Hazards up. I mean, it's still a 5 versus 5. And we do lose one Pokemon, they lose one Pokemon, but... We still have, that's probably their, um, that's what they're on their removal, so we still have our hazard setter, which is nice. But Sharp comes in, we do have to make a pivot here. He does pivot into Treads, which isn't bad. And then we see probably an Earthquake, there's no resist, yep, good play by Nim. Pivots to Slow King on the Keldeo, and then they bring in Raging Bolt, and it is Booster Special Attack. What is the, uh, Ground, okay, so Ground's pretty good. We were kind of saying maybe water would be the best because it hits treads and um, fancy, but ground does the same thing, so that's not bad. He does have to be a little bit scared uh, a potential like ice beam from us or something if we have it because it does c carry both. Um, but we'll see what uh, he does. He has to go into treads first, so he does real calm mind. Nice, probably gonna Terra. He does Terra. He goes for EQ. So I don't really see a problem with these with this play. I think this is all correct from Nim. Um, I think after he's gonna have to probably set a screen after is what I'm gonna guess here. I actually want to pull out the calc too real quick. I want to see how much damage this bolt does. So, um, so Nim does dart. Okay, I don't agree with darts. I actually think light screen is better first. Um, if light screen makes the pole live, the plus one booster Terra Blast. So let's check it out. Raging Bolt, plus one booster special attack. Um, Terra Ground, Terra Blast. Into our Dragapult behind the light screen. Yeah, so. Yeah, we definitely live that. So the play was certainly... I'm talking that, right? Plus one booster special attack. Yeah, so the play was 1 million percent light screen first. Because even if the last move is Thunderclap, we actually live Thunderclap after. So we would have the light screen up and then get the dragon darts off. 
Or if we light screen and they drop a Draco to KO us through, just Draco KO, Draco will KO us. Then at least they take the minus two special attack drop and then you can probably go into Mew or something and set up. Um, but by just attacking like this, then we have a bit of an issue. So, oh boy. So he goes Mew too. So they're actually faster than us. What the hell? So are they timid? Yeah, they're timid. He's timid raging bolt. Why is he timid raging bolt? That's interesting. Um, so, yeah, obviously with the light screen up, you can dragon dance here in front of this guy. Um, I wonder how much that would have done. Let's see. Draco meteor behind the light screen to Mew. So it would have done a good chunk for sure. It would have done, you know, around 60. But after that, hmm. I actually think we still could have had this game in the bag because, right, we dragon dance here and then we click CC and we kill something, right? They can't go into Bisharp to revenge us with Sucker Punch because we would be terror fighting, right? How much does Bisharp do? Bisharp with Sucker Punch. Yeah, it doesn't do much. That's Adam and Max attack. If we were minus one from a close combat, let's say two. Yeah, it still doesn't kill us. So actually, they would need to like extreme speed plus Sucker Punch probably to take us out. But we also have the Slow King there. So if we just kill this Raging Bolt, and like Slow King looks really, really good to win this game. So I don't know. Um, this Raging Bolt was definitely good set into our team. But I think uh, Nim just kind of missed the play right here, which is just a light screen first. I think he got a bit scared because honestly, the, the Mew should have been faster than the Bolt. So if the Mew was faster than the Bolt here, honestly, just attacking and then you go into Bolt, it's still not the worst. But we just didn't know for sure. If it was going to be, I, I wonder if he could tell from, um, he couldn't tell from any of the hits because he just KO'd everything, right? He KO'd with Terror Blast and he KO'd with Dragon Pulse, or Draco, what'd he do? Terror Blast. So, he couldn't, he couldn't tell if it was Timid or Monus at that point, but it was Timid. So, I think regardless though, you definitely want to light screen there first. Um... But this was this was Raging Bull is just a really good Pokemon to our team. That's another thing too. Like if we still had Slitherwing, you know, it could definitely th the Raging Bull would have to would be forced to Draco the Slitherwing because you know we resist Terra Ground, Terra Blast, and Thunderbolt. So again, another Draco Meteor into that guy would cause another minus two. So I think th those are pretty much like the only two plays that made a big difference in this game was. One, going into Slitherwing really, really early, which kind of lost all of its health instead of going probably into Sloking versus Tinglu. And then, um, you know, not, not light screening with Pult. So it's kind of, I, I don't really get why they're, why the, uh, why they're timid Raging Bolt, but they are. And I guess it worked out for them. So um, a bit unlucky there, um, but it was good prep by Ghost, so I can't really take anything away from him there. So it's not it's not really it was just a couple of misplays. It's really not it was a pretty straightforward game. Like the game was well only 17 turns or something. So I don't know if this thing was scarfed too. It might have been scarfed, I'm not sure. But I mean even if it's scarfed, then that's even better for him, you know. So but thank you guys for watching. Again, apologies, there hasn't been a video um in a couple in about like maybe ten days or so. But I only have one more session recorded, so hopefully I get more recorded. I do have um DCL captain captain shenanigans going on soon so I didn't really know I was going to sign up for that but I'm still going to try to do at least one of these a week um, hopefully too if I have the time so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys later peace